Hi everyone, I'd like to review in the movie Albert Knobs. Now this movie has not reached theaters yet. It's going to reach theaters in the early of this next coming year, January, February, I don't remember which. But I did come across the movie and I would like to share it with you. Um, hypothetically. So this movie um, is a great movie. If you get a chance to watch it coming next year, watch this movie if you get a chance. This movie is one of those rare movies where it's actually good all the way through. There are some slow parts, but the slow is actually a good thing. It makes you think and really build suspense. The movie doesn't play you as a fool. I would highly recommend this movie. It's smart all the way through. It's one of the few movies where I enjoyed it from beginning to end. And there's British accents. I mean, if you hear someone with a British accent, it's pretty awesome. Especially if you have a whole movie of it, it's even cooler. And then there's Irish accents in there too. Overall, with a British accent movie, you can't go wrong, in all honesty. The movie is different from other movies I've seen, which is kind of weird. You think movies are the same thing over and over again, but this movie actually is different. I haven't seen something like this before. Some of you who've gone through movies more so than I have probably say, oh, well, it's like this movie, but I haven't. So I'm sure a lot of you will also find this a very refreshing, very interesting movie. Again, when you get a chance, check it out. I give it a 9 out of 10 because it really is a good movie. Albert Knobs, very intriguing, very brilliantly done, good job. I'm happy you watched a good movie because it's it's been a little bit too long, to be honest. Secondly, my thing I want to cover is the train. Lately, the past three weeks, four weeks maybe, I've been noticing a lot more police officers on the train walking around. I mean, they could be SEPTA police, any case they carry a gun. If you're a certain person in uniform and you carry a gun, I'm not going to argue with you and I'm not going to criticize you because obviously you know how to kill me with a very, very powerful weapon. So I'm going to just leave it at that. I was wondering why it was going on because usually terrorist threats would prompt this kind of response. But I was like, I haven't heard anything. It's probably not that. What has been really nice, I noticed, is that the homeless who walk through the train and ask for absurd amounts of stuff and just bother me are not there anymore. You can bother me on the street, but don't bother me on the train. That's not fair because I'm on the train to get from place to place, not to be bothered by you. If I'm walking from the street, okay, that's kind of fair game because it's public property, but SEPTA is not a place to be pandering for stuff, in my opinion. I mean, if you think that people should be asking for stuff all the time, go for it. I don't think that's the place for it. So thank you for police officers for deterring that because it was actually kind of annoying. Some of these people would be walking through asking for stuff, some more mildly than others, and then they would have the train operators stop the train because they can't walk between cars. It's a danger, it's a hazard. So they would waste all these people on the train's time for this person just to walk around asking for money. So again, police, whoever you are taking care of us, thank you. Yes, I feel good about that. And lastly, my book came in today, which is awesome because I just finished my other book, The Black Rainbow, The Year of the Black Rainbow. So I just finished today and this book came in and it's book 13 of The Wheel of Time. Book 13, I've read this for quite a while, like quite a number of pages. And if you are reading a good series, stick with it. A sad thing about this book, the one I have right here, is that this book is my second copy of the book. I bought the book, read a few pages, and then I lost the book and my bookmark, which I had since I was in elementary school. And I'm very sad about that because Miss Michelle, Miss Geo, I don't remember who you are, but I remember the bookmark you gave me because you wrote it for me on Valentine's Day. And I always cherish that, except now because I lost it and I'm sorry. Wherever you are, whoever you are. I don't remember who you are. I was too young. If you like what you see here, feel free to subscribe. Subscribers do help me realize who's watching. And also, don't forget to click that like button. That like button does help, if you like it. I mean, if you don't like it, still click it anyway, because, you know, I appreciate it. But if you do like it, also click it. Um, it helps me know to keep making stuff like this or other things if you want to leave a comment. If you don't like what you see, maybe keep it to yourself or leave a constructive suggestion, possibly. Or just leave it to yourself. I mean, that works too. I will check you all later. Have a good one. Bye. Yeah, folks. Large pepperoni pizza. And a Pepsi, please. A Pepsi. Sure thing, Curly. Here you go, cupcake. Thank you. Hey, come here. I want you to listen very carefully to what I'm going to tell you. We both know I ordered a Pepsi Cola. And now you've insulted me and my entire family by offering me this. this. Uh, 
whatever it is, but being a civilized person, I like to give you a chance to make amends. Capisce? Yeah. Thank you.